Samuel Jackson just allegedly teamed up with the FBI to find disturbing footage of Diddy and many big-named celebrities. And robbed everybody who was at the party and stood at the door and let people come in and took them in the basement and they stripped everybody of their clothes, jewelry, money and everything. Samuel L. Jackson, the Hollywood icon we all know and love, has just dropped a bombshell that could upend Diddy's carefully curated world. A video allegedly leaked by Jackson himself reveals Diddy's infamous parties, with none other than Steve Harvey right in the thick of it. Jackson, a powerhouse in the industry for decades, rose to fame later in life, becoming a household name by the time he turned 40. Known for his iconic roles in films like Pulp Fiction, Django Unchained, and the Avengers franchise, he has built a career on his bold, no-nonsense characters. However, while audiences adore his on-screen presence, it's his outspoken off-screen persona that truly makes waves. Samuel L. Jackson is unapologetically candid about issues such as politics, race, and family values. Now he's allegedly found himself entangled in one of Hollywood's juiciest scandals, reportedly leaking a video showcasing Diddy's wild parties. In a twist no one anticipated, Steve Harvey's name has emerged prominently in this narrative. So, why would someone like Samuel L. Jackson, who appears to have everything under control, dive into a scandal like this? A few angles come into play, largely tied to his strong views on family integrity and responsibility. Jackson's path to success was far from easy. He was nearly 40 when his career truly took off. Unlike many celebrities who achieve fame in their 20s, Jackson fought hard to overcome personal battles with addiction and carve out his place in Hollywood. One constant in Jackson's life has been his commitment to family and fatherhood. He has been married to Latanya Richardson Jackson for over 40 years, an impressive feat in an industry where long-lasting marriages are rare. Together, they've raised their daughter, Zoe Jackson, away from the public eye. Zoe has found success as a producer, keeping her distance from the chaos that often engulfs celebrity children. Both Jackson and Latanya have emphasized the importance of a strong family unit, and Jackson is often lauded for maintaining stability in such a high-pressure environment. Given this context, it's understandable why Jackson might feel compelled to intervene regarding Steve Harvey and his daughter, Lori Harvey. The situation reportedly revolves around Lori's controversial relationship with Diddy, which garnered significant media attention due to their considerable age gap. Lori was just 22, while Diddy was nearly 50. The public discourse surrounding their relationship intensified, especially with rumors suggesting Lori might have been romantically involved with both Diddy and his son, Justin. What further fueled the speculation was Steve Harvey's seemingly complacent attitude toward the relationship. He even vacationed with Diddy, Lori, and his wife, Marjorie, amidst the dating rumors. For a man who has built his brand around family values, this reaction raised eyebrows, including those of Samuel L. Jackson. Known for his forthrightness, Jackson reportedly had some strong words for Harvey regarding his daughter's relationship choices. This situation gets personal for Jackson, who has long advocated for the importance of strong family bonds, particularly within the African-American community. Samuel L. Jackson has been outspoken about the importance of black families remaining intact, emphasizing the need for fathers to be present and for parents to instill a sense of responsibility and integrity in their children. In various interviews, Jackson has shared how his own lack of a father during his upbringing has fueled his determination to be a hands-on father to his daughter, Zoe. This commitment to family is likely behind his alleged criticisms of Steve Harvey. For Jackson, the thought of Steve allowing his daughter to become involved with someone like Diddy, who has faced numerous controversies and allegations, would be unacceptable. 
Diddy's history is rife with questionable behavior, from accusations of abuse by former partners to infamous tales surrounding his notorious parties. These parties have become synonymous with scandal, and Jackson's strong stance on family values may lead him to view Steve's actions as a failure to protect his daughter from potentially harmful relationships. In this light, it's easy to understand why Jackson might allegedly leak a controversial video. For him, it could represent not only an expose of scandal, but also a call-out of a father who he feels hasn't done enough to safeguard his child. Given how Jackson has raised his own daughter away from Hollywood's chaos, the contrast with Steve Harvey's approach could be stark. Throughout his career, Jackson has never shied away from speaking his mind. He has called out everyone from politicians to fellow actors when he believes they have crossed a line, earning both respect and fear in the industry. If these rumors are true, it appears that Steve Harvey may be the latest target of Jackson's critiques. Considering the depth of this scandal, which touches on family, celebrity, power, and loyalty, it's no surprise that it has become one of the hottest topics in Hollywood. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs or Puff Daddy, has long been rumored to host extravagant, no-holds-barred events that take place behind closed doors. These aren't typical celebrity gatherings where champagne flows and gossip ensues. They're rumored to involve much more questionable activities. Entertainment circles have whispered about these events for years, where big-name celebrities, models, and high-profile executives allegedly gather for nights filled with debauchery. These parties are said to be overflowing with alcohol, illicit substances, and escapades that sound more fitting for an adult film than a high-society gathering. The power dynamics in these settings are intense, with reports suggesting that attendees often engage in behavior that reflects the influence and control Diddy and his circle exert in these exclusive spaces. Now, this brings us to the alleged footage that Samuel L. Jackson supposedly leaked. Rumors suggest this video shows Steve Harvey caught in the midst of one of these wild nights. Given Harvey's carefully cultivated public persona as a wholesome family man and relationship advisor, this revelation would undoubtedly send shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. What's in this footage remains unclear. However, based on past rumors about these parties, it's easy to speculate about what it might reveal. Perhaps it includes images or clips of Harvey becoming too comfortable at one of these events or maybe it merely shows him present, which could be damning enough. Just being spotted at such a party would raise eyebrows and cast serious doubt on Harvey's clean-cut image. This raises the question, was Harvey a willing participant in these escapades, or was he simply present due to his friendship with Diddy? Without fully grasping the nature of the event, it's difficult to draw any conclusions. However, if this video were to leak, it could potentially clarify many unanswered questions. What makes this situation particularly shocking is that, if the footage is authentic, it could be career-ending for Steve Harvey. While Diddy's history of involvement in extravagant parties isn't new and has been marred by controversy, Steve Harvey presents a different case entirely. He has cultivated an image of respectability as a comedian and television host known for offering fatherly advice and family wisdom. His brand is built on clean humor, family values, and relationship guidance, making the potential fallout from such exposure even more significant. If the public were to witness him in a context that starkly contrasts his moral persona, it could unravel everything he has built. Sponsors, networks, and fans might start to question whether they truly know the real Steve Harvey. On the other hand, for Diddy, this video could simply corroborate suspicions that have lingered for years. He has been navigating a precarious path for some time, facing various legal challenges and accusations that have chipped away at his public image. 
A video like this wouldn't be the first time his name has been associated with wild parties or dubious behavior, but it would serve as further evidence, especially if it reveals the extent of his chaotic personal life as suggested by the rumors. So, why would the public care about this video? There's an undeniable allure in witnessing a celebrity who has spent years maintaining a pristine image caught in a scandal. It's akin to lifting the veil on the messy reality that often lurks beneath the glamorous surface of Hollywood. In Steve Harvey's case, the shock factor would be immense. He has long championed family values and respect. For him to be entangled in something so contrary would be the epitome of a celebrity scandal. The public couldn't help but speculate whether Steve Harvey was turning a blind eye to his daughter's choices due to his friendship with Diddy. As if things couldn't get any more complicated, rumors began to circulate that Lori may have previously been involved with Diddy's son, Justin Combs, before dating Diddy himself. Talk about an awkward situation. Lori has denied these claims, but public fascination with the alleged love triangle hasn't waned. People are drawn to scandal, and the notion that Lori might have dated both a father and son has transformed the situation into a soap opera that gossip enthusiasts relish. Whether true or not, the mere rumor has been enough to keep Laurie's name in the tabloids and fuel endless speculation about the dynamics between her, Diddy, and Justin. Enter Samuel L. Jackson, who is rumored to have been upset with Steve Harvey for allowing Laurie to get involved with Diddy. Jackson reportedly felt that Harvey failed as a father by not stepping in sooner. Known for his vocal stance on family importance, Jackson doesn't shy away from calling people out, especially when it touches on personal issues. Having raised his daughter Zoe away from the media spotlight, he likely found it troubling that Steve Harvey could be so publicly supportive, or at least indifferent, about Lori's controversial relationship. For Jackson, this wasn't merely about a young woman making her own choices. It was about a father who failed to protect his daughter from what many view as a predatory relationship. Diddy's history is rife with allegations of controlling behavior and legal battles, painting a picture of someone who may not be harmless. Given Jackson's past comments about the need for strong male role models, he might have viewed Harvey's inaction as a significant oversight. It's not hard to believe that Jackson could have voiced his concerns directly to Harvey. Stepping back, we can see the broader societal implications of Lori Harvey's relationship with Diddy. It became a focal point for discussions about power dynamics in age gap relationships. When a 22-year-old woman dates a 49-year-old man, especially one as influential as Diddy, questions arise about who holds the real power in that relationship. Was Lori a young woman establishing her career and capable of making fully autonomous decisions, or was she swayed by Diddy's fame and wealth? Steve Harvey's complicated family dynamics add another layer to this narrative. While he projects a wise, fatherly image, his personal life is anything but simple. He has been married three times and his blended family has faced public scrutiny casting doubt on whether the man who dispenses family advice has mastered it himself. His first marriage to Marsha Harvey ended in divorce in 1994, reportedly due to Steve's infidelity, which recurred in his second marriage to Mary Shackelford, who also accused him of cheating and mistreatment. Harvey's tumultuous personal life, including a messy divorce from Shackelford in 2005, where she sued for $60 million for emotional distress, contrasts sharply with his polished public persona. His current marriage to Marjorie Harvey seemed like the quintessential Hollywood love story, presenting a united front as a happy blended family. However, Marjorie's past, including links to convicted dealers, has fueled rumors about her influence over Steve. Despite never being charged with any illegal activities, questions persist about whether Steve has been more lenient in parenting due to Marjorie's background. 
Together, Steve and Marjorie have built a media empire that thrives on the image of a perfect, blended family. Yet beneath this facade, there are cracks, particularly concerning Lori Harvey's relationship with Diddy. With Steve and Diddy having been friends for years, this long-standing connection complicates matters. Diddy, known for his notorious parties and chaotic personal life, is not the type of person one would expect Steve Harvey to endorse for his daughter. Yet, when Lori and Diddy's relationship hit the headlines, Steve appeared to remain silent, leading to speculation about his true feelings on the matter. Steve's friendship with Diddy made it challenging for him to intervene in the situation. After all, could he genuinely criticize a friend with whom he had shared so many years of collaboration and mingled in similar celebrity circles? This long-standing bond between Diddy and Steve may have clouded Steve's judgment as a father when rumors about Lori's relationship with Diddy began to surface. Many anticipated that Steve would speak out, given his history of being vocal about relationships. Instead, he appeared to give his silent approval, even going so far as to vacation with Diddy, Lori, and Marjorie in Cabo San Lucas. The infamous Cabo trip grabbed headlines, leaving many to wonder if Steve was truly okay with his daughter dating a man nearly 30 years her senior, or if he was merely trying to maintain peace within his family and with Diddy. For some, the trip seemed like an endorsement of the relationship. If Steve had reservations about Laurie dating Diddy, would he really choose to vacation with them? Photos from the trip depicted a family enjoying the sun, smiling for the cameras, and projecting an image of harmony. However, there were likely tensions brewing beneath the surface. Some fans speculate that Steve found himself caught between a rock and a hard place, either protecting his daughter or preserving his friendship with Diddy, a powerful figure in the entertainment industry. Marjorie's influence also plays a significant role in this narrative, given her controversial past and her ability to maintain a public image despite her connections to criminals. It's possible that Steve deferred to her judgment regarding Lori's relationship with Diddy. After all, Marjorie has been in the spotlight for years, and perhaps Steve trusted her to navigate the complex waters of celebrity relationships. Yet, many fans are not convinced. They believe that Steve's silence speaks volumes, and that by not stepping in, he may have failed to guide Lori away from a relationship that was sure to attract scrutiny. Ultimately, Steve Harvey's public persona as a devoted family man has come under fire due to his handling, or lack thereof, of Lori's relationship with Diddy. Known for advising others on raising strong, independent children, his actions in this situation seem to contradict the very values he espouses. Was Steve merely trying to protect his friendship with Diddy, or was he genuinely comfortable with the relationship? Regardless of the answer, public perception of Steve Harvey has undoubtedly shifted, placing his complicated family dynamics under the spotlight. Diddy's legacy is also fraught with challenges. While his public image has long been one of success and power as a music mogul, his personal life has been marred by controversies, legal battles, and troubling allegations that reveal a much darker side. Over the years, Diddy has faced multiple accusations of abuse from former partners, significantly damaging his reputation. One of the most high-profile cases involved singer Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit against him. In 2022, Cassie had been in a relationship with Diddy for over a decade, and the allegations that surfaced were shocking. The lawsuit garnered widespread media attention, with many horrified by the disturbing nature of the claims. While Diddy vehemently denied the allegations, he ultimately chose to settle the lawsuit out of court. For many, this settlement felt like an admission of guilt, even though Diddy maintained his innocence. The terms of the settlement remained confidential, but the damage to Diddy's public image was already significant. His decision to settle rather than fight the accusations in court raised eyebrows, 
leading many to view him in a much darker light. Cassie's lawsuit had a ripple effect throughout the entertainment industry, empowering other women to share their own stories. In the aftermath of her case, four additional women filed lawsuits against Diddy, each recounting similar experiences of emotional and physical abuse. The allegations varied from controlling behavior to more severe accusations of misconduct, and the consistency of these stories was disturbing, further tarnishing Diddy's already fragile reputation. This situation raises questions about Lori Harvey's involvement with Diddy. During her time with him, there were no public accusations of abuse, but fans can't help but wonder if she experienced any similar mistreatment. Lori has remained silent about her relationship with Diddy, and while her silence doesn't necessarily indicate that something occurred, it raises questions. Could her silence stem from fear of retaliation, or is she simply choosing to move on without revisiting the past? The power dynamics in Diddy and Lori's relationship cannot be overlooked. Diddy, as a wealthy and influential figure, held significant control, leading some to speculate that this may have influenced Lori's decision to stay quiet. Additionally, there's the possibility that Lori wants to protect her father's friendship with Diddy. Steve Harvey and Diddy have been close for years, and Lori speaking out could jeopardize that relationship, which she might wish to avoid for her family's sake. Public perception also plays a role. Lori has carefully crafted an image as a strong, independent woman, and admitting to mistreatment during her relationship with Diddy could complicate that narrative. She may be hesitant to be viewed as a victim, especially given that her personal brand revolves around empowerment and self-assurance. However, it's essential to recognize that Lori's silence doesn't necessarily imply that nothing happened. The fear of retaliation, both personally and professionally, can be overwhelming, particularly given Diddy's long history of controlling behavior. Diddy's legacy is now marred by numerous allegations, and his once glittering career has taken a serious hit. Even if he is ultimately cleared of wrongdoing in the remaining lawsuits, the damage to his reputation is significant. In the court of public opinion, Diddy has lost much of the goodwill he once enjoyed, and he is now perceived as a figure shrouded in controversy. For Lori Harvey, the question remains whether she will ever speak out about her time with Diddy. If she does, it could have serious implications, not just for her, but for her family as well. Steve Harvey's friendship with Diddy has already raised eyebrows, and if Lori were to come forward with any negative experiences, it could further strain that relationship. For now, Lori appears focused on her career and personal endeavors, seemingly unfazed by the swirling controversies. Still, the public can't help but wonder if there's more to the story than has been revealed so far. Switching focus to Samuel L. Jackson and Steve Harvey, both are Hollywood heavyweights with decades-long careers that have earned them immense wealth and made them household names. However, their approaches to parenting contrast sharply. Jackson has managed to keep his family life remarkably private, while Harvey's family, particularly his daughter Lori, frequently makes tabloid headlines. This difference in their family dynamics raises questions about what it means to be a father in the public eye and whether either approach is the right one. Despite his fame, Jackson has successfully shielded his family, especially his daughter Zoe, from the relentless scrutiny of the media, allowing her to lead a relatively quiet life compared to many celebrity children. She chose to work behind the scenes as a producer, deliberately avoiding the public scrutiny that often accompanies being the child of a celebrity. This decision wasn't made by accident. Samuel L. Jackson and his wife, LaTanya Richardson Jackson, have been married for over 40 years, and from the very beginning they made a conscious effort to shield their daughter from the chaos of Hollywood. In various interviews, Jackson has emphasized the importance of family and his determination to ensure that his fame didn't adversely affect his daughter's upbringing. 
he has expressed his desire to create a stable and grounded environment for Zoe, which meant keeping her away from tabloids and the often toxic world of celebrity culture. Jackson's parenting style has garnered praise as an ideal way to raise a child in the public eye, allowing them to find their own path while being shielded from the pressures of fame. So far, this approach seems to have paid off, as Zoe Jackson has quietly built a successful career as a producer without the drama that often plagues children of celebrities. In stark contrast, Steve Harvey's family life has been anything but private. From his multiple marriages to the high-profile relationships of his daughter, Lori Harvey, the family has frequently been in the media spotlight. Lori, in particular, has been the subject of endless gossip regarding her dating life, which has made headlines time and again. Whether linked to rapper Future, actor Michael B. Jordan, or most controversially, Diddy, her love life has captivated public attention. Throughout it all, Steve Harvey has mostly remained silent, only occasionally commenting on his daughter's relationships. This contrast between Jackson and Harvey is striking. While Jackson has worked to keep his daughter out of the limelight, Harvey's family has often seemed to embrace it, despite the negative attention that sometimes comes with it. Some view Harvey's openness about his blended family as refreshing. He has candidly discussed the challenges of raising children from multiple marriages and expressed his love for his family. In many respects, Harvey has positioned himself as a relatable figure, a man navigating the complexities of family life with all its imperfections. However, others critique Harvey's handling of his family, particularly Lori, viewing it as a failure to protect her from the scrutiny that accompanies dating high-profile men, especially someone like Diddy, who has his own controversial history. Critics have accused Harvey of overlooking Lori's choices, possibly to avoid conflict or due to his long-standing friendship with Diddy. In contrast, Jackson's approach is celebrated for its protective nature, with fans commending him for shielding Zoe from the intense scrutiny that surrounds Lori. Public opinion has split over their parenting styles. For some, Jackson's decision to maintain family privacy epitomizes the ideal way to raise a child in Hollywood. They argue that this approach has allowed Zoe to grow up free from the pressures of living in her father's shadow, enabling her to carve out her own career without the baggage often associated with being a celebrity's child. Conversely, others appreciate Harvey's more public family life as a sign of his willingness to embrace his family's complexities, imperfections included. They find comfort in his transparency, seeing it as an honest portrayal of family life that resonates with those facing similar challenges. Ultimately, the debate over which approach is superior, Jackson's protective shielding or Harvey's openness, comes down to personal preference. Some value privacy and the idea that children should be kept out of the limelight as much as possible, while others appreciate the transparency and honesty that come with sharing the ups and downs of family life. What is evident, however, is that both men's choices have shaped how the public perceives them, not just as celebrities, but as fathers. The media landscape surrounding Hollywood scandals is rife with speculation, especially when juicy gossip involves big names like Samuel L. Jackson, Steve Harvey, and Diddy. Recent rumors have ignited a media firestorm, with fans and critics weighing in on the alleged drama. From Twitter threads to Instagram memes, the internet is buzzing with speculation about a leaked video and Jackson's supposed comments regarding Harvey's parenting. As is often the case with scandals like this, public opinion is sharply divided. On one side are the fans who support Samuel L. Jackson's alleged criticism of Steve Harvey. They believe that Harvey has failed as a father by not intervening to protect his daughter, Lori, from her controversial relationship with Diddy. These supporters point to Jackson's own family life as evidence that it's possible to raise a child in Hollywood.
Headlines designed to grab attention have only fueled the frenzy, as every new detail or rumor is dissected and debated by fans and critics alike. In an era where clicks and views drive content, it's no surprise that the media has seized on this story and is exploiting it for all it's worth. So what happens if the video actually gets leaked? The potential fallout for Steve Harvey could be significant. He has built a career on his family-friendly image, offering advice on relationships, parenting, and life in general. If a video surfaces showing him involved in something as outrageous as one of Diddy's infamous parties, it could completely shatter that carefully crafted persona. Sponsors and networks may reconsider their association with someone whose behavior contradicts the wholesome image he has worked so hard to maintain. For Diddy, the consequences might be less severe, given that his reputation has already endured several blows over the years. Another scandal involving wild parties wouldn't be surprising. However, for Harvey, whose career hinges on his ability to connect with everyday people and provide sound advice, this kind of controversy could be devastating. It's not just about the contents of the video. It's about how it conflicts with the public image he has strived to uphold. Ultimately, this scandal serves as a stark reminder of how quickly rumors can spiral out of control in the digital age. Whether or not the video ever surfaces, the damage may already be done. Fans will continue to speculate, the media will keep reporting, and Steve Harvey's carefully constructed public image may never recover. But what about Kevin Hart? I, sh I, should, I should look like, like he's fresh, fresh off a goddamn plane. plane. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. Back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. I'm up here in the hot tub, uh, doing it official, uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, oh! After Diddy's recent arrest, there has been alleged leaked footage of Kevin Hart coming out involving some very disturbing things between the two men. Although it is alleged and rumored, it's not looking good for Kevin Hart. Allegations suggest that Kevin Hart may be in a state of panic as he fears the potential legal consequences of his alleged association with Diddy. This comes amidst reports of possible federal investigations, with Hart purportedly doing everything he can to distance himself from Diddy in the unfolding legal quagmire. At the center of these rumors are serious allegations that involve racketeering charges, Ryko, potentially linked to Diddy and his associates. If true, these charges would carry significant legal weight, potentially affecting not only Diddy, but also those in his inner circle, including other high-profile figures. Kevin Hart's frantic attempts to sever ties with Diddy, coupled with the resurfacing of incriminating videos, have only added fuel to the fire. The comedian's seemingly desperate efforts to erase his association with Diddy have led to increased speculation and public scrutiny. The term RICO stands for the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, a federal law designed to combat organized crime. While the specifics of the allegations surrounding Diddy are still vague, the suggestion that his associates, including high-profile celebrities, might be involved in criminal activities under RICO charges has sparked intense public interest. This legal framework allows prosecutors to target entire networks involved in illegal activities, rather than focusing on individual crimes. The prospect of such charges has sent shockwaves throughout the entertainment world, particularly among those who have close ties to Diddy. One of the key points of speculation is that Kevin Hart may have been caught up in these investigations due to his participation in or association with Diddy's infamous parties, which have been widely rumored to involve illegal activities. Videos of these parties, some featuring Hart, have begun to resurface, with the public speculating that they may provide evidence relevant to the federal investigation. These parties, known for their extravagant and often controversial nature, have long been a subject of gossip in Hollywood and the resurfacing footage now raises even more questions about what truly transpired at these events. For many years, Diddy's lavish lifestyle and close connections with prominent figures in the entertainment industry have been well documented. His parties have been attended by a wide range of celebrities, 
from musicians to actors, and his influence has extended across various facets of the entertainment world. However, this very association has now led to heightened scrutiny of anyone who has had significant ties to him, including Kevin Hart. Rumors suggest that Kevin Hart's involvement may extend beyond mere attendance at these gatherings. Some claim that Hart may have played a more active role, perhaps even helping to organize or promote some of Diddy's notorious parties. The release of new video footage showing Hart at these events has only intensified the speculation, with some fans suggesting that the comedian might have known more than he let on. While nothing has been confirmed, the very idea that Hart could have been complicit in some way has many questioning the true nature of his relationship with Diddy. The videos in question allegedly depict Hart in the midst of one of Diddy's parties, and they are described as showing wild scenes with scantily clad women and chaotic behavior. Though Hart himself has not made any public comments regarding these videos, their resurfacing at this critical moment has added an air of mystery to his involvement. It is not unusual for celebrities to attend lavish parties, but in this case, the context of the current legal climate has cast an entirely different light on these past actions. Diddy's parties have long been the subject of both fascination and suspicion. Known for their opulence and celebrity guest lists, these gatherings often push the boundaries of what is considered acceptable behavior, with rumors swirling for years about the activities that take place behind closed doors. The wild atmosphere, the excesses, and the powerful attendees have combined to create an air of intrigue and danger around these events. Some have likened them to secretive elite circles where anything goes, protected by the wealth and influence of those in attendance. Justin Combs, Diddy's son, has also been implicated in these rumors, with suggestions that he may have been underage at some of these parties. The inclusion of minors in environments filled with adult themes, alcohol, and other questionable activities raises serious concerns, especially when considering the legal implications. In particular, there have been rumors that Justin, while still very young, was present at these gatherings, which has sparked outrage among fans and the general public. The potential for underage individuals being exposed to harmful or illegal activities only deepens the public's concern and speculation about the full extent of what occurred at Diddy's parties. The no homo comments and sexuality rumors. Adding to the controversy are a series of interactions and comments between Diddy and Kevin Hart that have taken on new significance in light of the current scandal. At one of Diddy's parties, a video captured Diddy making a no homo joke toward Kevin Hart, warning him not to sit on a bed as they engaged in conversation. While seemingly a lighthearted or off-color joke, this moment has been scrutinized heavily in light of the long-standing rumors about Diddy's sexuality. Speculation surrounding Diddy's sexual orientation dates back decades, with rumors of his involvement in same-sex relationships persisting despite his public relationships with women. In some cases, these rumors have been fueled by comments like the no homo quip, which some view as an attempt to deflect or minimize the perception of inappropriate behavior. However, these attempts to make light of the situation may have backfired, as they only seem to have amplified the questions surrounding Diddy's personal life and the nature of his interactions with other men, including high-profile celebrities like Kevin Hart. Over the years, Diddy's sexuality has been the subject of numerous rumors, some of which have been publicly acknowledged by others in the industry. One of the most vocal critics has been rapper 50 Cent, who has frequently used Diddy's alleged sexual orientation as material for jokes and jabs. According to 50 Cent, Diddy once made a strange remark to him about going shopping together, which the rapper found suspicious and promptly called out as inappropriate. This incident, while seemingly small, has taken on greater significance as it aligns with the wider rumors about Diddy's lifestyle and behavior. 50 Cent's rivalry with Diddy is well known, with the two often trading barbs in public. However, 50 Cent has taken his criticisms of Diddy beyond typical industry feuds, frequently mocking Diddy's personal life and behavior. One incident that garnered significant attention was when 50 Cent shared a photo of Diddy and rapper Rick Ross, implying a romantic relationship between the two based on the image's suggestive nature. This was only one of many times 50 Cent used social media to troll Diddy, often bringing up his sexuality or behavior in an attempt to undermine his rival. Beyond the online trawling, 50 Cent has also been vocal about other aspects of Diddy's behavior. 
accusing him of hiding parts of his life and using his power to manipulate others. While some view 50's comments as nothing more than playful trolling, others believe there may be some truth to his claims. After all, 50 Cent has a reputation for speaking bluntly, often airing out private details about those he perceives as rivals. In this case, his remarks about Diddy align with many of the rumors that have persisted about the mogul for years, leading some to believe that 50 might be hinting at something more serious. Adding to the layers of controversy is former child star Orlando Brown, who has made shocking claims about Diddy. Brown, known for his troubled personal life and erratic public behavior, alleged that Diddy engaged in inappropriate conduct with him, making disturbingly graphic accusations. While Brown's credibility has been questioned due to his troubled history, his allegations nonetheless contribute to the growing chorus of voices making serious claims against Diddy. Brown's allegations are part of a broader narrative of misconduct and inappropriate behavior that has been whispered about Diddy for years. In particular, his close relationships with younger men in the industry, such as R&B star Usher, have drawn suspicion. Usher, who lived with Diddy when he was just a teenager, has alluded in interviews to being exposed to inappropriate situations during his time with the mogul. In one such interview, Usher admitted to sharing a bed with Diddy, a confession that has raised eyebrows given their age difference and the power dynamics at play. Usher's relationship with Diddy has long been a topic of speculation, with many fans questioning the nature of their interactions when Usher was still a young teen. Usher himself has recounted stories of his time living with Diddy, describing how he was exposed to wild parties and adult activities at a very young age. In one interview with Howard Stern, Usher revealed that he witnessed things he wasn't old enough to understand, including sexual encounters and behavior that was inappropriate for someone his age. Although Usher has never directly accused Diddy of any wrongdoing, his accounts of his time with the Mogul have fueled speculating about what really happened during those years. The power dynamic between a teenage artist and a successful music mogul like Diddy has led many to question whether Usher was taken advantage of or manipulated in some way. This narrative fits into the larger allegations against Diddy, painting a picture of someone who has used their position of power to control and exploit younger men in the industry. In addition to the troubling nature of Usher's relationship with Diddy, there have been rumors that Diddy may have given Usher a sexually transmitted disease which allegedly led to a falling out between the two. These rumors were reportedly set to be included in a tell-all book by Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Kim Porter, before her untimely death. Though unverified, these allegations have only added to the mounting concerns surrounding Diddy's behavior and the potential for darker secrets lurking beneath his public persona. While Diddy's past relationships and the behavior at his parties are concerning, Kevin Hart's potential involvement has sparked a new wave of speculation. Hart, a comedian known for his sharp wit and larger-than-life personality, has often been seen in close proximity to Diddy at events and parties. While this alone is not unusual in the world of Hollywood, the resurfacing of video footage showing Hart at Diddy's notorious parties has raised questions about what role, if any, Hart played in these gatherings. In the videos, Hart can be seen interacting with Diddy and other partygoers, often in the midst of chaotic scenes filled with drinking, loud music, and suggestive behavior. Though Hart has not been directly implicated in any criminal activity, the timing of the video's release, just as rumors of RICO charges swirl, has led to public speculation about what more might come to light. Hart's presence at these parties, combined with his attempts to distance himself from Diddy in recent months, has led some to believe that he may have knowledge of illegal or inappropriate activities that took place. As federal investigations into Diddy's activities reportedly continue, it remains to be seen whether Kevin Hart will face any legal scrutiny. For now, the comedian seems focused on maintaining a low profile, perhaps hoping to avoid further entanglement in the legal and public relations nightmare that seems to be closing in around Diddy and his associates. One of the most disturbing aspects of this unfolding drama is the apparent silence from many within the entertainment industry. For years, rumors about Diddy's behavior have persisted, yet few have spoken out against him. This raises questions about complicity and whether those who knew of inappropriate or illegal behavior were too afraid to speak up due to Diddy's immense power and influence in the music world. The entertainment industry has long been criticized for its tendency to protect powerful figures, even in the face of serious allegations. 
Whether out of fear of retaliation or a desire to maintain their own careers, many celebrities have chosen to remain silent rather than confront those at the top of the industry. In Diddy's case, his influence extends far beyond music. He is a business mogul with ties to fashion, media, and philanthropy, making him a formidable figure to challenge. If Kevin Hart is indeed implicated in the ongoing investigations surrounding Diddy and the allegations of illegal activities at his infamous parties, the repercussions for Hart's career could be profound and far-reaching. Kevin Hart has spent years building a brand not just as a comedian, but as a multifaceted entertainer, actor, producer, and entrepreneur. He has successfully leveraged his comedic talents into starring roles in blockbuster films, sold out stand-up tours and multiple business ventures, positioning himself as one of Hollywood's most bankable stars. However, in the entertainment industry, image is everything and any scandal, particularly one as serious as being linked to criminal investigations or inappropriate behavior, could drastically alter public perception and damage the goodwill Hart has cultivated over the years. Hart's carefully managed public image. Hart's success has largely been built on his ability to relate to a broad audience. His comedic style often draws from his personal life, portraying him as a hardworking family man who, despite his fame and fortune, deals with the same everyday struggles and challenges as his fans. This relatability has been a cornerstone of his appeal, allowing him to connect with a diverse audience across racial, economic, and generational lines. He has carefully cultivated a reputation as a comedic everyman, someone who never takes himself too seriously and who can laugh at his own mistakes and shortcomings. This persona has not only endeared him to fans, but has also made him a favorite among advertisers and studios looking to associate with a wholesome, family-friendly figure. However, that image has not been without its cracks. In 2017, Hart publicly admitted to cheating on his then-pregnant wife, Aniku Parrish, a scandal that threatened to derail his image as a devoted husband and father. Hart addressed the issue head-on, offering public apologies and discussing his mistakes candidly, both in interviews and in his stand-up routines. His willingness to take responsibility for his actions helped him weather the storm, and he was able to repair his public image, although some damage had undoubtedly been done. But Hart's most significant controversy came in 2018, when a series of homophobic tweets from nearly a decade earlier resurfaced just after he was announced as the host of the 2019 Academy Awards. The backlash was swift, with many calling for Hart to step down as host. Initially, Hart resisted, stating that he had already addressed and apologized for those comments in the past. However, as the controversy grew, Hart ultimately decided to step down from hosting the Oscars, issuing a more formal apology and expressing his regret for the hurt his past remarks had caused. This incident served as a reminder of how even actions from years prior can resurface and impact a celebrity's career in today's social media-driven world, where accountability is increasingly demanded by the public. In light of these previous controversies, the potential fallout from being linked to Diddy's alleged criminal activities could be even more damaging. While past scandals involving infidelity and offensive tweets were personal missteps that Hart could recover from through apologies and accountability, being implicated in a federal investigation, particularly one involving RICO charges, could have much more serious consequences. Racketeering charges are not taken lightly, and even the mere suggestion of involvement in such activities could be enough to tarnish Hart's reputation permanently. If the investigations into Diddy's activities reveal any direct involvement by Hart, or even if Hart is perceived to have been complicit by remaining silent or failing to report illegal or immoral activities, it could mark a significant turning point in his career. The public's perception of celebrities, especially in the post-Me Too era, has shifted dramatically. There is less tolerance for those who are seen to be abusing their power or engaging in unethical behavior. And even those who are merely adjacent to wrongdoing are often expected to speak out and distance themselves from it. Hart's perceived silence or inaction, if proven, could be seen as complicity, leading to calls for accountability. One of the most immediate consequences Hart could face, if implicated in any wrongdoing, is the loss of endorsements. Hart has been the face of several high-profile brands, including Nike, Mountain Dew, and Fabletics. Companies typically seek out celebrities who represent positive, aspirational values, 
and they are quick to cut ties with those who become embroiled in controversy. A scandal involving potential criminal activity would likely lead to heart being dropped by major brands, as companies would not want to be associated with any negative press or potential backlash from consumers. In addition to endorsements, Hart's production company, Heartbeat Productions, which has been responsible for producing films, television shows, and stand-up specials, could also suffer. Studios and networks may be hesitant to partner with someone whose reputation is in question, and projects that are already in development could be delayed or canceled if Hart's name becomes too controversial. Furthermore, his ability to secure financing for future projects could be compromised if investors see him as a risky or toxic figure. Hart's career as an actor could also take a hit. Hollywood, like other industries, tends to shy away from actors who are surrounded by controversy, particularly when it comes to family-friendly or mainstream projects. Hart's roles in blockbuster franchises like Jumanji and animated films could be jeopardized if studios decide that his involvement would hurt box office returns or alienate key demographics. In an industry where perception is everything, even unproven allegations can be enough to cause serious damage to an actor's career. In the wake of movements like the Me Too, there has been a cultural shift in how the public views and responds to celebrity scandals, particularly those involving abuse of power, sexual misconduct, or criminal activity. The entertainment industry, once known for turning a blind eye to the bad behavior of its most powerful players, has had to reckon with its own history of complicity and cover-ups. As a result, there is now far less tolerance for celebrities who are involved in scandals, particularly those that involve illegal or unethical behavior. Hart has benefited from the public's willingness to forgive in the past, particularly when it comes to personal indiscretions like his affair and his past offensive tweets. However, the stakes are much higher this time. Allegations of criminal behavior, especially in the context of Diddy's rumored involvement in RICO-related charges, would be far more difficult for the public to overlook. Even if Hart is not directly implicated in any criminal activity, his association with Diddy could lead to guilt by association, particularly if evidence emerges that he was aware of wrongdoing and chose not to act. The long-term impact on Hart's legacy. Kevin Hart has spent years carefully building his empire, and he has worked hard to position himself as one of the most successful and influential comedians of his generation. However, in Hollywood, a career can be undone in an instant if the public turns against you. If Hart is found to be connected to any illegal activities, or if he becomes embroiled in a scandal that damages his reputation beyond repair, the long-term impact on his legacy could be severe. The entertainment industry is littered with examples of celebrities whose careers have been derailed by scandal, and many of them never fully recover. In today's media landscape, where news travels quickly and public opinion can shift in a matter of hours, Hart would need to act swiftly to distance himself from any wrongdoing and demonstrate accountability if he hopes to preserve his career and legacy. If the allegations prove to be unfounded, Hart could still face an uphill battle to regain the public's trust, particularly in a climate where the public has little patience for perceived dishonesty or a lack of transparency. The court of public opinion can often be harsher than any legal consequences, and in an industry where reputation is everything, Hart's future may depend on how he handles this crisis, whether through public statements, legal action, or a show of accountability. The potential fallout from being associated with Diddy's legal troubles presents a significant challenge for Kevin Hart. As investigations unfold and more information comes to light, Hart may need to make some difficult decisions about how to navigate the situation. Whether he chooses to publicly address the rumors or remain silent will likely have a major impact on how the public and the industry view him moving forward. For now, Hart's fans and critics alike are watching closely waiting to see how he handles this latest test of his career. The stakes are high, and the consequences of any misstep could be devastating. However, if there is one thing Hart has demonstrated throughout his career, it is his resilience and ability to bounce back from adversity. Whether he will be able to weather this storm remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. The next few months could be crucial in determining the future of Kevin Hart's career and his place in the entertainment industry. Moving forward, accountability in the entertainment industry. The rumors and allegations surrounding Diddy, Kevin Hart, 
and others serve as a reminder of the complex and often murky world of Hollywood, where power dynamics can obscure accountability. As investigations continue, it is crucial that the entertainment industry takes a hard look at how it handles misconduct, particularly when it involves those at the top. The silence of those who have witnessed or been involved in questionable behavior only serves to perpetuate a cycle of abuse and exploitation. The question remains, how should the industry respond to these allegations and what steps should be taken to ensure greater transparency and accountability moving forward? Celebrities like Kevin Hart, who have been close to figures like Diddy, may need to reckon with their own roles in this larger narrative. Whether through direct involvement or simply by remaining silent, their actions or inaction have contributed to an environment where misconduct can thrive. As the public continues to demand answers, it is likely that more information will come to light, potentially implicating even more high-profile figures. For now, the world watches as Kevin Hart, Diddy, and others navigate the fallout from these explosive rumors, with the potential for even more revelations on the horizon. What do you think about the growing scandal involving Kevin Hart and Diddy? Should celebrities speak out when they witness wrongdoing? Or is self-preservation justified in an industry as cutthroat as Hollywood? Let's continue this discussion in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth content on celebrity news and controversies.